Another activity of daily living is dressing. And this allows for a lot of independence for your loved one as they are completely able to help choose their outfit for the following day. So the night before, sit a couple of possible choices out. Maybe two different shirts, two different pairs of pants, and let your loved one assist in choosing what they would like to wear for the following day. When you are assisting them to get ready, make sure that you're providing one piece of clothing at a time. When laying out clothing for your loved one to choose from, one of the things that you want to make sure is that the clothing is adaptive and that it's convenient for your loved one to put on because you want to encourage them to do this as independently as possible. Choose clothes that are loose fitting and have elastic waistbands. Clothes need to be comfortable and yet easy to remove, especially when your loved one needs to go to the bathroom. Choose wraparound clothing instead of the pullover type. Consider using clothing that opens and closes in the front and not the back. This can be helpful in allowing your loved one to dress themselves and maintain some independence. Whenever possible, choose clothing that has large flat buttons, zippers, or Velcro closures. If possible, attach a zipper pull to the end of the zipper to make it easier to zip pants or jackets independently. Choose slip-on shoes and purchase elastic shoelaces that allow shoes to slip on and off without untying the shoelaces. The night before, they've usually picked out the outfit that they want to wear, so when you're supplying them with these clothes, make sure that you have everything laid out in the proper order. Do this by providing one piece of clothing at a time. Cue them on what to put on first, and always encourage them to use the right side of their body or the side where they have the most remaining strength when they're getting dressed and undressed.